China, a land of ancient traditions and futuristic innovations, breathtaking landscapes, and a cultural richness that's second to none. Did you know that China is home to over 1.4 billion people and boasts some of the most iconic landmarks on the planet? From the mystical Great Wall to the bustling streets of Shanghai, and from delectable dim sum to jaw-dropping festivals, we're about to uncover some mind-blowing facts about this incredible nation. So buckle up and get ready for a whirlwind tour of China's fascinating wonders. Let's dive in. Shanghai Marriage Market, where love is on display. Imagine stepping into a bustling marketplace, but instead of fresh fruits, fragrant spices, or colorful textiles, you're surrounded by love, or at least, the hope for it. Welcome to Shanghai's Marriage Market, a tradition that's been captivating visitors and locals alike since 2004. Every weekend from 12 to 5 p.m., the picturesque People's Park transforms into a lively matchmaking hub. Here, parents, particularly anxious mothers and fathers, gather to find the one for their beloved children. But there's a twist. The singles themselves are rarely present. Instead, their parents passionately advertise their qualities and achievements as if they are promoting a rare and precious find. The scene is unique. Instead of market stalls, umbrellas serve as makeshift billboards, each displaying a meticulously crafted resume of eligible sons and daughters. Under each umbrella, you'll find posters with photographs, height, age, job, education, and even income level. Some resumes are remarkably detailed, listing hobbies, personality traits, and even preferred qualities in a future spouse. The determination is palpable. Parents stroll from umbrella to umbrella, evaluating potential matches, exchanging phone numbers, and of course, bargaining for the best match they can find for their child. In a place where matchmaking meets the energy of a bustling market, you can't help but feel the weight of tradition mingling with the modern pressures of China's fast-paced society. Many young people in China are focused on career growth, and finding love often takes a back seat, leaving parents worried that their children might miss out on settling down. The marriage market becomes their way of taking fate into their own hands. It's both endearing and a bit nerve-wracking to watch. Would you want your mom or dad setting up your dates? The Breed Ready Database Mystery Now, let's shift from the romantic quirks of Shanghai to something more mysterious and a little unsettling, the so-called Breed Ready Database. In 2019, a Dutch researcher stumbled upon a massive database in China, accessible to anyone who happened to find it. It contained the personal information of 1.8 million Chinese women, each listed with details like age, phone number, home address, and occupation. But it wasn't the sheer volume of data that caught people's attention. It was the strange label assigned to each entry, breed ready. The term was alarming, sparking intense debate and speculation worldwide. Some suggested it was a translation error that perhaps the original Chinese text simply referred to women of childbearing age. Given that the average age in the database was 32, this seemed plausible. Others feared more sinister intentions. China's declining birth rates have raised concerns among officials, leading some to wonder if the government might be monitoring women's reproductive potential. However, it's equally possible that the database was created by a private company or an organization with data collection practices gone awry. There was even speculation that it could be tied to dating apps or social networks tracking women's demographics for marketing purposes. Disturbingly, the list also contained details about each woman's education level and political views, hinting that whoever compiled the data was interested in far more than just age and address. While the database was quickly taken offline after it was discovered, it left people with lingering questions. Who created it? Why was it publicly accessible? And what does it say about the privacy of individuals in a world where information flows so freely? The mystery of the Breed Ready database remains unresolved, a haunting reminder of the complexities and risks associated with personal data in the digital age. China's unique take on ice cream a journey of flavors. And now, for something a bit more lighthearted, let's talk about ice cream, 
but not just any ice cream. China's love affair with ice cream has deep historical roots. Did you know that as far back as the 2nd century BC, the Chinese were experimenting with frozen treats? They used snow to freeze a mixture of milk and rice, crafting what may have been one of the world's earliest ice cream desserts. Today, ice cream in China is a kaleidoscope of flavors and textures. Beyond the usual chocolate and vanilla, you'll find flavors that might surprise you. How about a scoop of pork floss, or perhaps a refreshing wasabi blend? If those don't sound like your typical dessert choices, that's because China's culinary creativity knows no bounds. Some of the more popular flavors include red bean, green tea, and taro, bringing a distinct Asian twist to this beloved treat. Trying these unique flavors can be a delightful adventure, one that takes you beyond the familiar and into the heart of Chinese food culture. So if you find yourself in China, don't miss the chance to sample a bit of the unexpected. After all, isn't travel all about stepping out of your comfort zone, even if that means tasting pork-flavored ice cream? People's Republic of China China is officially known as the People's Republic of China. This name reflects its status as a sovereign state governed under a single-party system led by the Communist Party of China. Established on October 1, 1949, the People's Republic of China emerged victorious in the Chinese Civil War, marking the beginning of a new era for the nation. Population Powerhouse As of July 2023, China is the second most populous country in the world, boasting over 1.4 billion people. That's a staggering number. Imagine the sheer diversity of cultures and traditions within this massive population. The country's vast population contributes to its dynamic economy and cultural richness, with people from various ethnic groups, including Han, Zhuang, Hui, and many others, coexisting and contributing to its unique cultural tapestry. A multilingual nation. While Mandarin, also known as Putonghua, is the official language, China is a linguistically diverse country. There are several major dialect groups, such as Yu, Cantonese, Wu, Shanghainese, Min, Hokkien Taiwanese, and more. Each dialect group has its own sub-dialects, making China's linguistic landscape incredibly rich. For instance, Cantonese is widely spoken in Guangdong Province and Hong Kong, while Hokkien is prevalent in Fujian Province and Taiwan. The Coconut Culture China is often described as a coconut culture, where people may appear stony and formal on the outside but are warm and welcoming once you get to know them. Building close friendships and relationships in China takes time, and the process often involves shared experiences and mutual trust. This cultural characteristic contrasts with Western cultures, where forming relationships may happen more quickly. Family Values Family is at the heart of Chinese culture. It's common for multiple generations to live under one roof, and elders are highly revered. There's even an elderly rights law to ensure the well-being of senior citizens. Filial piety, a core value in Chinese culture, emphasizes respect and care for one's parents and ancestors. This tradition is deeply rooted in Confucianism and continues to influence Chinese society today. Historical Awareness the majority of Chinese people have a deep knowledge of their country's history. It's a significant part of their education, and even younger generations are well-versed in the historical events that shaped China. From the ancient dynasties, such as the Han and Tang, to the more recent history of the Qing dynasty and the founding of the People's Republic, Chinese history is a source of national pride and identity. Fortune Cookie Myth Contrary to popular belief, Fortune cookies did not originate in China. They were actually invented in San Francisco. It's not a traditional Chinese custom, but it has certainly become a global phenomenon. In China, desserts like mooncakes and sweet rice balls, tanyuan, are more traditional and are often enjoyed during festivals like the Mid-Autumn Festival and the Lantern Festival. Endless Railways China's railway network is so extensive that if you combined all the railway lines, they could loop around the earth twice. Talk about impressive infrastructure. China's high-speed rail system is the largest in the world, with trains that can reach speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour, 217 miles per hour. 
This network connects major cities, making travel across the vast country fast and convenient. Chinese New Year Chinese New Year is the biggest holiday in China, celebrated for 15 days. It's usually held in January or February and is even more popular than Christmas. Fun fact, many countries around the world also celebrate Chinese New Year. During this festive period, families gather to enjoy feasts, exchange red envelopes, Hong Bao, containing money, and set off fireworks to ward off evil spirits. Each year is marked by one of the 12 zodiac animals, and the celebration involves various customs and traditions unique to different regions. The Chinese Zodiac In China, each year is named after one of the 12 Chinese zodiac animals. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. 2022, for example, was the year of the tiger. These zodiac signs play a significant role in Chinese culture and traditions, influencing personality traits, compatibility, and even important life decisions. The Chinese zodiac is not only a fun tradition, but also deeply ingrained in the cultural and social fabric of the country. The Bailong Elevator The Bailong Elevator in Zhangjiajie, China, is the world's heaviest and highest outdoor elevator, carrying visitors up to 300 meters high along a cliff's edge. It's a must-see for thrill-seekers. Located in the stunning Wulingyuan Scenic Area, this glass elevator offers breathtaking views of the surrounding karst formations and lush forests, making it a popular tourist attraction. Religious Diversity China is home to a variety of religions, with Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism being the most practiced. Its large population means there's a wide range of religious beliefs and practices. In addition to the major religions, there are also significant communities of Christians, Muslims, and practitioners of folk religions. This diversity reflects China's long history of cultural exchange and religious tolerance. UNESCO Sites Galore China boasts the highest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, tied with Italy. Some of the most famous include the Forbidden City, the Great Wall of China, the Summer Palace, and the Terracotta Army. These sites attract millions of tourists each year and are a testament to China's rich cultural heritage and architectural achievements. The Forbidden City Speaking of UNESCO sites, the Forbidden City in Beijing has a whopping 9,000 rooms. It's one of the largest and oldest imperial palaces in the world, a true marvel of architecture and history. Built during the Ming Dynasty, the Forbidden City served as the home of emperors and their households, as well as the ceremonial and political center of the Chinese government for almost 500 years. One Time Zone Despite its vast size, China only has one official time zone, Beijing time. This can make for some interesting experiences when traveling across the country. For example, in the far western regions like Xinjiang, the local time can be significantly different from the official time, leading to unique local adaptations and daily schedules. Panda Diplomacy Every single panda in the world, except for two, belongs to China. The only exceptions are two pandas living in the Chapultepec Zoo in Mexico City, named Xian Xian and Xuan Xuan. This practice of lending pandas to other countries, known as panda diplomacy, has been a part of China's foreign policy since the 1950s, symbolizing goodwill and friendship. Panda Eating Habits Pandas spend most of their day eating, about 10 to 16 hours. Despite being part of the bear family, they do not hibernate and prefer a diet mainly consisting of bamboo. Their unique diet and adorable appearance have made pandas a beloved symbol of wildlife conservation efforts. Travel Enthusiasts Chinese people are the biggest travel spenders in the world, shelling out a whopping $260 billion annually. That's twice the amount spent by American travelers. Chinese tourists are known for their enthusiasm for exploring new destinations, experiencing different cultures, and purchasing luxury goods. Ancient Medical Discoveries Ancient Chinese medicine discovered the concept of blood circulation 2,000 years before European scientist William Harvey announced it in 1628. Their advanced understanding of the human body is truly remarkable. Traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, includes practices like acupuncture, 
herbal medicine, and qigong, which are still widely used today for their holistic approach to health and wellness. Ice Cream Origins Ice cream was invented in China around 4,000 years ago. Early versions were made by mixing milk and rice with snow, a deliciously cool treat. This ancient dessert has evolved over millennia, and today, China offers a wide variety of ice cream flavors, from traditional green tea to exotic flavors like durian and red bean. The number four. In China, the number four is often avoided as it sounds similar to the word for death. This superstition affects everything from phone numbers to floor numbers in buildings. Many buildings skip the fourth floor entirely, and people avoid using the number in important contexts like phone numbers and addresses. The first soccer ball. Soccer, or football as it's known in many parts of the world, was actually invented in China. The sport dates back 2,200 years, and the first soccer ball was made of leather and filled with feathers and hair. The game was called Kuju, which means kickball, and was played during the Han Dynasty. This ancient sport laid the groundwork for the modern game loved by millions worldwide. Skyscraper Boom China is growing at an unprecedented rate, building a new skyscraper every five days. That's at least 73 new skyscrapers each year. Cities like Shanghai and Shenzhen are known for their impressive skylines, filled with some of the tallest and most innovative buildings in the world. Culinary Diversity China's culinary scene is incredibly diverse. Each region has its own unique dishes and flavors, ensuring you'll never eat the same meal twice. Plus, Chinese food is always served fresh. From spicy Sichuan cuisine to delicate Cantonese dim sum, the variety of Chinese food reflects the country's vast geography and cultural richness. Chopsticks History Chopsticks were originally used for cooking, not eating. Today, they're an integral part of Chinese dining culture. Made from materials like bamboo, wood, and even precious metals, chopsticks have been used for thousands of years and are an essential tool for enjoying Chinese cuisine. Ketchup's Chinese Roots Ketchup, an iconic American condiment, actually has Chinese origins. The word ketchup comes from the Hokkien Chinese word kutsayap, a sauce made from fermented fish. This tangy sauce was brought to Europe by traders and eventually evolved into the tomato-based condiment we know today. Red Wedding Dresses In China, brides wear red instead of white. Red is considered a lucky color and symbolizes happiness and prosperity. Traditional Chinese weddings are filled with vibrant colors, elaborate ceremonies, and cultural rituals that emphasize the importance of family and good fortune. The Terracotta Army the Terracotta Army in Xi'an, China, took 37 years to build. It consists of 8,000 clay soldiers, crafted to guard an emperor's tomb. Discovered in 1974, this massive archaeological site showcases the incredible craftsmanship and military organization of the Qin Dynasty, offering a glimpse into China's ancient history. Top Universities China is home to several world-class universities. In the latest Times Higher Education World University Rankings, seven Chinese universities were ranked in the top 200, including Tsinghua University and Peking University. These institutions are renowned for their academic excellence and cutting-edge research, attracting students from around the globe. And there you have it, folks. China is a land of endless wonders, from its rich history to its modern innovations. We hope you enjoyed these fascinating facts about China. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. See you in the next video.